back to toe of the week doing another design that matches the nails I did on Monday that beautiful mint mani for Talia now I've done the toes check them out aren't they darling I love the way they turned out always do them a little bit different than the fingers but they always look great and then I always follow with the fashion Fridays outfit of the day can't wait to show you guys that. I was so honored to do this. I've done it a few years in a row for Talia Joy, a young girl that we lost to cancer. Not me personally, um, but just a young girl that died of cancer. Many children die of cancer every year. And so they do this for research. It's called Mint Manny. I got both done in the month of May, even though you're not getting it now this week until June. Uh, but today is May 31st and I did the nails on the 29th of May. So I did get them both done in that time and I did do the hashtag Talia Joy. So try this um, out next year. Do the Mint Manny for cancer research for children and do it in the month of May and do the hashtag so that it will help with research. It's an honor to do that. You know, it's so sad that we lose so many and especially children to cancer. It's sad. So, but this technique, a lot of fun. I love the water marble, especially with no water. So much easier to do. Robin is amazing. I learned the technique from her. Definitely check out her channel and try this out. Try it out on paper. You can even do up to like six or seven colors. Just have fun with it. Play around with it. Try it in your favorite colors. And um, yeah, I just love the mint one though that I did here. I love the way it turned out and I can't wait to share the outfit. Anyways, all of you guys, if you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and please share around my channel since I teach keto and I want to get the whole world on board and help everyone get healthy. And if you loved this video, shoot me a thumbs up. Let's get started on today's design. Everybody take care, God bless, and I will see each and every one of you in my next upload. Hey everyone. So here's what I chose to go with for this week's toe design. Matching the nails I did on Monday, it's a Mint Manny for Talia Joy in Cancer Research. This is a no water marble. If you'd like to see how I did this one, continue watching. Hello everyone and welcome back to Toe of the Week. Doing another beautiful spring look. This set is matching the nails that I did on Monday. I did that in honor of Talia, the Mint Manny. I did a no water marble. So we are matching the toes now with it. And I've got some of it done just to make the video a little shorter for you guys. But I will go over and tell you all the products. It's all the same products I used in Monday's video for the nails. But some of you don't watch the nail video. Some people like just nails. Some people like just, you know, just the toe videos. So let me go over and show you. I have got a sheer polish on all the toes because I did a French look on the baby toes. I've left this one open so I can show you how I do that freehand. And I have done a gold line to match with the gold just to keep it more simple. I always do the toes a little different. And then the big toe is going to look like this. I'm going to do the no water marble on that. So let me show you. For starters, I have used um, a sheer pink OPI. This one is called Bubble Bath. I normally use the Beige of Reason. They were out at Sally's. So I got this one, but I do love it. That's what's on all the toes. And then I'm gonna be using uh, two shades of green and a white to do the swirl. And of course, also that bubble bath. I'm gonna use that, a very uh, thick coat of that on first and then do the swirl. So on the baby toes, I'm using this Milani here, and this is that mint green. It is called uh, Mint Crush, a beautiful mint color. And I've got that on the baby toes. And then I'm going to mix in this shade of green, another uh, shade, you know, it's jaded is what it's called. So another one kind of in the mint look, I'm, that is so bright, jaded right there. Hopefully you can see it. I'll list it down in the box. Um, but just wanted to have those shades of green like I did on the nails like that. And then of course, I'm going to use this white that I got from Dollar Tree, just a simple white. It's called a French white and it works great. I'm going to be swirling those colors in along with, like I said, a thick coat of the sheer color that bubble bath then when i am done i am going to be working with robin moses's brush to do the uh no water marble i learned that from her and you don't have to use any water this is uh robin moses nail art and to order the brushes it's robin moses nail art.com they are ten dollars a piece if you order both her wand that's what this is and the unicorn then it's only eighteen dollars there's the end of it right there the tip and i do keep them dirty in between I use acrylic paints on them. She recommends that because I guess it keeps the brushes better. 
and last longer. It is Red Sable Hair, and she has designed them. They're gorgeous. I recommend anyone buy them, especially if you follow her and do her art. It's much easier to do when you have her brush. So I'm going to use that, and I'm going to use this gold glitter that I got from Sally's. It's a micro glitter, and I'm just going to mix it in with a uh, base coat that I poured into this bottle. This bottle isn't what it is. I poured a base coat in there, and I pour it out with the glitter, mix it, and that way I can use that as my um, line here where I did the gold line and then gold through it like I did on the nails there. So when I'm all done, I will top everything off then with the Dry Fast uh, Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat I get from Sally's or online, which is much cheaper, or Walmart, and that's how it dries everything up. So I think I've got everything in line. I am going to get set up for you guys and we'll be right back okay for starters we're going to do this tip we're going to tip the color on this toe here and i'll show you how i do that freehand you do not have to do it freehand if you don't feel confident enough now remember i have the bubble bath on here just to share color um if you don't feel confident enough you can use tape tape off the toe you know right where you want um it to be covered and then your polish is going to go there take the tape off immediately when it's wet or you can use those um, ones that they do for French tips, they're like little white strips. You can use those too. So I'm just going to do it freehand and show you how I do it. I get newcomers all the time, so I'll just show you how I do it. So I just come up to the toe and I start where I want the line. I don't want this to be too thick and I'm not too worried because I'm going to use gold as a line, a stripe across. So it doesn't matter how even it is, but I just set the brush down and pull forward. So you want to set it down, give it a little pull and pull up. That's what you do when you're doing a French that's what gives you that perfect line, but always start in the middle when doing this. I hope I don't get in your way here. Let me back up a little bit. Okay. Oh gosh, I can see I'm going to get in the way here. All right, I'll just pull it over to this side. All right, and then same thing. Just set the brush down, push to where your line starts, and pull up like that. Try to get into all your corners. Don't worry if you get it on the skin. We can always get it off the skin. But you don't want to have, you know, your polish unpolished. You want to make sure you get every little nook and corner. So, all right, like that. It looked like it got a little blurry. Sorry about that. I'm just going to use my glove here and wipe that off right there. And I will get it more clean at the end when I do the brush. I'll clean it with the brush and some acetone. So, that is that. That's how you do a French line um, freehand. I like to do it freehand, but again, like I said, if you don't feel confident enough, then just get yourself um, those little tapes or you can just use scotch tape. However you wanna do it, I'm just trying to line up here. Sorry guys. So that's that. Now I'm gonna get one of these done with the swirl and I will return and I'll show you the no water marble on this one and then we'll do the gold line. All right, so I've done the big toe with the swirl. Isn't that gorgeous? absolutely love it so I'm gonna show you how I am doing that so now in my video when I did the nail video I could do it much thicker with that sheer polish that uh, pink sheer um, because I could wipe off the sides if you watch that video you see what I'm talking about I learned that from Robin Moses so you get rid of a lot of it it lays the paint flat but on the toes of course you can't do that you can't get around to them so we're not gonna do as much but we have to work much faster so I'm gonna draw in here for you guys and we're gonna start with that one. Now I make sure that I get it at a good angle so you guys can see these. Move the polishes so they're not in my way when I go to do this. All right, so we want a nice liberal coat of that bubble bath. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on real quick and you wanna work fast because you can't do as much on here that I could, like if you watch the nail video, you'll see I did much more of this because I could wipe it off. Just go across a few See little lines of hair there, just go across. So like that, and then we're gonna go to the lightest color and put in some dots anywhere you want them. Just drop them in, that's totally fine. And then we're gonna go to the darker color. Again, just anywhere you feel you want them. It's not gonna mess up your design, no matter where it is, it's gonna be beautiful. And then we're gonna do the white. Drop in some white in different spots. Now the white, I always wipe the brush off after before I put it in the bottle only because it's gonna have some color on it. Then grab your brush immediately and start working. So we're gonna go to this angle here and I'm just gonna go ahead, hopefully you can see this, and start pulling the design and swirl it. Just swirl and have fun 
hopefully I'm not getting your guys' way here. So just have fun with it while it's still wet. Just play and have fun. You don't want to overkill this design though. So stop when you think it looks good. Don't keep going because otherwise you will overdo it and it won't be as pretty. You can practice this on paper if you don't feel confident enough to do this. Definitely practice on paper. But I think right there looks great. I'm sure you guys agree with me. I think that looks really good. So we're gonna stop right there. I'm gonna roll and get this paint off the brush and we're gonna pull everything away here. So one moment. And yes, it is thick, but don't worry on the toes. It's not as thick as the fingers, so we don't have to worry about trying to pull off the sides. Like I said, if you don't understand that, watch the nail video and you'll see what I mean because I did it really thick. Now, because this is kind of, let me back away here. It's hard to do when I have my glove on. Okay, um, right in here in the corner, I'm just gonna go along it and just pull some of that out because I got the glove on because it did kind of pull into there. But that's fine and I can do any cleanup after. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> wow, excuse me. Allergies, kicking my butt. I am getting so much phlegm buildup and I always get that during this time of the year with the pollen and all that. All right, we're gonna let this dry. We're gonna get ready to get the glitter and do this line and then by then should be dry enough to do the glitter on the big toes. I will return. All right, I've got my glitter mixed up here with a um, little bit of the base coat and some of the glitter. Now you can make it as thick or as thin as you want. I kind of got it medium here and I'll show you how I do that line. So we're just gonna draw in here and I'm gonna do it with Robin Moses's brush again. We're just gonna, oh, I need to clean this off because that paint was on there, I forgot about that. All right, so we're just gonna dip into this gold here, get enough on the tip there, just on the very tip is all you need it. I actually got a little bit too much, so we'll do this again. I just wanna get a little bit on here. And then we're just gonna go along the toe here and make your line. That's why your uh, the French tip that you're doing doesn't have to be perfect because this is going to make it look perfect once you, you know, dry your line out here. And it's easy to do. You're just following along the line. These brushes make it easy. I love her brushes. I used to buy them all the time at Hobby Lobby and stuff, and I would go through them so fast they would get ruined. I learned how to cut and everything because she teaches how to cut brushes and all that. I learned all that, but yeah, they don't last very long. But her, she said, if you take good care of them, you could get about three years out of them. So there we go. There's that. So now we need to do the glitter on the big toes. So I'm still waiting for them to dry up enough so I don't ruin the design. So I'll get one done and I will return to show you guys. All right, I've got one done. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna draw in just a little bit so you can see. Isn't that gorgeous? And you just put it wherever you feel fit. Like if there's been a mistake that you've made or anything, that's where you can put your glitter. I'm just gonna dip into my brush here. I'm running out of glitter quick because it dries quick but because I only did a little bit, but that's okay. I have enough to finish up here. So I'm gonna start right where this green is here. I like the way this green went. So I'm gonna follow that line along like that. And you just do it wherever you feel fit just to get the glitter in there. I'm gonna do one there. Hopefully I have enough to get through this. We're just gonna do one in there. And then I'm gonna do one kind of going up where this white line is. Kind of bring it up into there. Get a little bit more and bring that up into there. Like I said, you do it however you want. That's what's fun about this design. You add the glitter in wherever you think it needs it. So I, I want a little bit down in here and I think that's pretty good. I think I might want to put just a little bit into this kind of flower type there. I think that's pretty right there i just love the no water marble look and i always love to add in the glitter because that reminds you so much of a marble a marble wall whatever it's just gorgeous all right so we are done with all these steps i just want to use a little bit of acetone and clean around top coat it with sesh feet after everything is dry perfectly and i will return to show all of you guys the end product Alrighty, everybody, I am all done and I am loving the toes just as much as the fingers. And I love the meaning behind it. This is a mint mani for Talia Joy, a young girl that died of cancer. I explained that in my video. 
but yeah I love the way the toes turned out they're so cute and they match these nails perfectly I always do the toes a little bit different and I love the way it turned out I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Definitely try out a no water marble. It's very fun to do. Practice on paper. You can use up to like so many colors to do it. I explained that in my intro. But yeah, try out different looks, different colors and have fun. I hope all of you guys will enjoy the rest of your day. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload.